guys, we've got TLR here, back with our final Pokemon Showdown Live of ORES. Sun and Moon is right around the corner, and I'm super excited, and I hope you guys are too. But I wanted to get into one last video for you guys before Sun and Moon drops, so here it is. We're going to be using a pretty hot team I cooked up a little while ago. It's got Excelgore, it's got Dragalzi, you know, that's all you really need. And uh, before we get started, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going to be happening with the channel. So, I will be getting Sun and Moon very early, but I will not be uploading any content from the cartridge for about a week. I will be uploading Showdown Live for that week, but that'll be so I can test out the meta and see what works and what doesn't. And after that, I can construct teams on, like, you know, on the cartridge, and then I can give you guys Wi-Fi battles, and I'll start doing Battle Spot Lives as well. So, yeah, without further ado, let's just hop right into battle. Yeah. Here we go, with, uh, some Dolphins. Hmm. Well, unless he has rocks on Excadrill or Pinsir, which I doubt he would, he's probably rocks tar. I don't think he would lead with Arena Tide, though. I think he would lead with Thunderous, thinking I might lead with Lopin. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna lead with Excadrill because that leads well against not only Thunderous, but Tyrant Tar as well, in case he wants to lead with his rocks. Well, um... I'm gonna be... Sun and Moon is gonna be, like, at the end of the flight cycle by the time this comes. You know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pause. Okay, so that guy's play was leaving and never coming back. I mean, I guess that's the only play you can make when you see a Zelda on your opponent's team. But, uh, let's, let's see if we can get an actual battle, you know? So, ah, here we got one against the infamous Blundino squad. Ah, what a, what a great team to test, to test this team with. Let's see if we can take down one of the most famous teams of ORAS. Hmm. You know, I almost kind of do expect him to leave Medicham because it's not the free they got except on everything except open. Um. Well, if I leave Rotom, then I leave well against everything bar Latios and possibly Medicham. I don't think he would lead with either of those two, since both of them would be a pretty brisk free lead if they got- I'm going to leave Rotom expecting him to lead their land or Jirachi, but he does leave on this, interesting. But, I do know that he can't really touch my extra drill, he does have HP fire, he does miss as well, which kinda sucks, but like, you know, it's just he didn't really want that, that really sucks for him. Um, I could eat two here, but I do not expect him to stay in. Looks like we can switch out into Lando. Yep, yep. So I'll just get up my rocks. Free rocks. There is a such thing as free rocks. That was quite a bit. I see that one confused. That is nice. I saw a big one of those left. 
Uh, I do kind of expect him to eat her here. He could EQ, but if I go into Rotom, that, he just loses too much momentum, so I do expect him to eat her. Yep. So we can get a, uh, it may be a minus 1 EQ, but hey, it'll it'll trump anything. Anything that wants to hurt me. So. I, I won't complain. Come on, send me kill kill. I'll get a juicy 30% off, plus rocks. Yeah, that's all you need. That's all I need for, uh, I don't know. I guess that means low pain can kill if I can kill. Oh, but he sends in Jirachi. Ooh, ooh, I can get a nice 48%. Nice. And uh, here, he probably would just switch right back into Lando, or he might dump his rocks. I could send an Excel board here. Mm, or oh, really. I think I think Rotom is the play. Yep, because he goes right back out into Lando, so. Uh, he might knock off, or he might U-turn. Either way, he doesn't have anything that really wants to be burned, so I'm just going to put a little bit straight here. Even if he goes into something like his Rotom or his body, just the residual from the residual from the Lilith is going to be nice. So, yep, he goes into Lottie, and we're going to be able to burn this thing. I do expect him to hidden power fire here, expecting my extra drill. But even if he does, it won't matter too much because I can still tank two. And if he defogs, I can get my rocks right back up. Yep. So I'm, just, I'm just gonna get my rocks right back up. He probably nope. He decides to drop a Draco instead. Hmm. Maybe expecting me to double back out into Rotom, expecting me to land I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna go for Iron Head here. Definitely expecting Lando to come in. Or... Hmm. He might go Lando? Rotom is a play here. Rotom, I could go Lando. Nah, I don't, I don't need to actually risk anything. I can just put Iron Head here. Yeah, he's gonna... Boost up, but still going to take a lot of damage from the Iron Head. And still won't be able to boost up again. I'm going to EQ here. Because even if he does want to go Lando, he's going to take Stealth Rocks. And here I am definitely not going to risk him go for a free quick so yeah, I'm going to go into Rotom. If he wants to knock off, that's also fine. Nope, but he just U-turns. Which is fine. Something's going to come in, he's going to get chipped. So I should go into Latios. Interesting play, I guess. I do expect him to roost here, because otherwise he'd lose Latios. Or he might defog, actually. Either way, Excadrill's 100% the play here. Because no matter what, he can't really touch my Excadrill. So yeah, he just drops another Draco, and that's going to be down with Latios. And that means my rocks are here to stay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. He goes out into Medicham here. Um, I do not have a switch in. Hmm. Let's see. I got to low punny in revenge. Do I need Excadrill for anything? Nah, Excadrill, yeah, Excadrill is basically just rapid spin at this point. So, yeah, I don't really need him. He does just go straight for the high jump kick. That's fine. Um, let's see. I could go into Excel Gord here. And just take him out, that would be surprising. But no, I'd rather get off my low running Mega, simply because that means I'll be able to outspeed stuff like Keldeo. I won't have to risk that. So, yeah, I'm just. He goes into Lando, that's fine. He's gonna take Stealth Rock, plus he's gonna take Chip. Hmm. I could go for a turn here, because he's almost definitely gonna be turn again. He can't, he can't really go for Earthquake, and if, if he does, he won't kill me. And. I don't want to go for Ice Punch because I have to do So yeah, I'm just going to go for Return here. Hopefully I can catch that Rotom on the Switch. It's not going to be too much since I'm at minus 20, but, you know, Chip is Chip. Ah, okay. So, I wouldn't be surprised if he goes for Will-O-Wisp right here. 
or he might just go for a bullet switch. I don't have my X drone anymore, so I can just stop the bullet switch. So yeah, that's probably that's probably what he's going to do. I do have speed, so I could just get off a high jump kick right here. Or wait, he does have thunder wave, that's what he does. I need to chip Telvia. Well, Telvia can't really touch us. You know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go into uh, Rotom right here just in case he wants to Thunder Wave. I don't expect him to. Yeah, I expected the Bull Switch, but I don't really need Rotom because if I can set up Azumarill, I just win. Because I, I am running Jolly Azumarill with enough speed to outspeed Rotom, so that won't be a problem. Um, I'm just gonna whiff here because he decides to go for a high jump kick and he misses. He does go for a high jump kick, which is fine. Um, here I'm gonna go XL Bar. I'm just gonna go XL Bar and get off some, get off some nice damage on this thing. If he decides to stay in, he shouldn't stay in, but he might. So. So we don't have to sit here waiting for you. He does. Well, hmm. I doubt he'd go straight into Lando because even I don't even think Lando can take a bug bugs from where it's at after rocks. I don't know. I don't. I'm not gonna calculate. Okay, he just goes into Rotom. So this thing is probably gonna live one. No, it. This is die. Wow, it's gone. GG. I mean, not GG, but you know, GG for Rotom. He shall not be returned. No healing for you. Which is fine. Um, he might go Metacham and fake out, but that won't kill. I know Excel is super duper frail, but it's a non-stab fake out, so... And I... I know at least Blunder doesn't... He doesn't run Bullet Punch, but I don't know. This guy changed the team or something. Um... I kind of want to keep Excel Gore because it can be used to clean up after Lando is gone. And Dragalge is a pretty safe switching. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm just going to switch into Dragalge. He goes for Scald, going for the bird. He does get it, but that doesn't matter too much. Uh, I could go for a Scald of my own here for Dick Mitrachi, which is actually probably what he's going to do. Um, or I could go for Hidden Power Fire. But Scald can burn, and yeah, so I'm going to go for Scald, expecting the Drachi, which he does go into. So if I can get a burn here, that would be super clutch. I do get a crit, but no burn. He's almost definitely going to heal it when he goes Lando right here. So... Huh. Yeah, I'm just going to Scald again. Like, if he goes into Lando and he decides to EQ, that means it won't take down my Excelgor, and I can just click Hidden Power Ice, so... I'm gonna see what he goes for. Most likely e turn. I don't expect him to eat you. But he does... he does decide to eat you, so... I'm gonna go into Excelgor here, and I'm going to click Hidden Power Ice. Hopefully he stays in, and I catch him by surprise. That would be pretty cool. What? Hmm. Okay, I know Blunder runs enough speed to outrun Mega Alakazam, so the fact that I outsped there. Yeah, this guy's. This guy changed the sets. Oh no. What have you done? Anyway. Um, I think I'm just gonna bug buzz here. I only need damage. Wait. Hmm. Scarf. Alright, that's fine. Um, I'm just going to go into Azumarill and quick play around. I don't even need to belly drop. I mean, even if he burns me here, he's gonna die. Ooh. And then fake out into return will kill Medicham, so... Yeah, GG. Unless, like, I don't know, he's running little punch and ultra crits my low on you. Is that even possible? Just gonna fake out. Uh, yeah, yeah I'm just gonna Aqua Jet here. Unless he's like not running Thunder Punch, in which case I could just kill him later on, but I'm not gonna risk it. He's running Zen Headbutt. Okay, yeah. 
Well, that's that's fine, I guess. And uh, yeah, GG. So let's move on to the next one. And um, okay, we got. Hmm, this is interesting. Well, unless he's scar uh, Stealth Rocks you, he should be Stealth Rocks Lando. I do I do think he's Stealth Rocks Lando. That that would make sense. A Stealth Rocks Lando and his Predact Mew on this on this team makes sense. So he could lead Lando. And in that case I can lead Excelgore. But he could also lead whatever this thing is, Thunder. I'm gonna lead Excelgore. I'm gonna lead Excelgore. If he leaves Thunderous, could we... Oh, he does. He does indeed. He could predict my Excadrill and go for Focus Blast, and then I'm just going to be... I'm going to be a dead Excadrill. Or he could just go for Volt. I do think he'd just go for Volt Switch, though. Because it's too early in the game to make such a big play. So I'm, I'm just going to go for Excadrill. If he goes for Focus Blast... Yep, okay. If he's not choice, man, uh, then he got me. Yeah, but I do I do think he's choice scarf. Unless he's choice scarf Belgio, but in that case I still think he'd probably be choice spec. So he goes into Lando and I'm just gonna get my Roxa. And um Yeah, again, this guy really doesn't have anybody who wants to be burned, so I'm going to Rotom. He's going to go into you probably. I won't, I won't burn you. Just because I'd rather ooh, he goes straight into Thunderous. He's gonna take that 24%, so that's pretty cool. Um he's probably just gonna volt switch out, and in that case, I'm going to pain split. Just get all that health back on whatever he wants to send in. Uh he sends in Keldia, so that's pretty cool. Pop pop pop. Yeah, we're still oh no. He's left over. Okay. Well, I'm just going to Volt Switch right here. Pretty simple play. Get off a nice whatever that was. Percent. And we're just going to go into Lopunny and click Return. Return should go. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm using the new Sun and Moon calculator. So I'm just, I'm just going to do this. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to change this. It's 136 and it's at level 100. So, return to 58 minimum, so, yeah, return should just kill, so I'm just going to click that. He goes out into Metagross, so that's, that's fine. Uh, we just got some damage off on that thing, and if he has an headbutt, he almost certainly go for it, but if he doesn't, then he's not, basically. I want to go Rotom, but but if he, I I'm gonna go Excadrill just in case because either way he's going to go for Meteor Mash if he doesn't have Zen Headbutt. Yeah, see, he has Zen Headbutt, so I'm I'm glad I didn't go into Rotom. Um, now I could double out to something. I could double out to Rotom. I don't have speed after the Meteor Mash speed drop though, so. I mean the hammer on speed drop, what am I talking about? I could get into Excelgore, but do I want Excelgore getting weakened? Because Excelgore can actually clean up. He doesn't have anything that really beats Excelgore. His way of beating it is that speeding and killing with a scarf on D, so. I don't want to get rid of Excadrill just yet either though, because I do want it just in case he to prevent his thunders from both switching around. So yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go out for Rotom. Yep, he goes for Hammer on, boom, that does a lot, but I do tank it, and now Zen Headbutt can take me out if he is indeed faster, which he should be if he's jolly, but maybe, I don't know, he decided Adamant was the way to go. But, oh! Oh, we live, oh, but we flinched, that is unfortunate, okay. Uh, not too unfortunate though, uh, we're just going to go for the worst again. He has Pursuit, interesting. Hmm. 
I definitely want him to set up on him. He has Zen Headbutt, Hammer on Pursuit, and I'm guessing Meteor Mash. So... Open Fake Out into a Jump Kick. Should kill. We are not running low for here. Let's bring this level 100. Fake out does 7 to 9, and high jump pick does 50 to 60. So, yeah, it has a 0% chance to kill. Crap. Okay. Hmm. I don't really have another play. Except for go at Selkirk. You know what? I'm gonna go low and then take out. He should stay in here. Technically. I kinda wanna ice punch predicting him to switch though. But he should stay in because they got into high jump they won't kill him without a crit. Hmm. No, I'm not gonna risk it. There's no point. Let's we'll start the time. Yeah, he goes into Lando, that's fine. Um, he turns out to be Leftovers, which is actually better because that means I can stay in Ice Punch, get rid of 50% of this guy's health. So that's to go back into Metagross, he's going to take a bunch of damage from that, and... Hmm... Hmm... Huh. I do want to save both I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out and X the Cause now, now High Jump Kick... Has a fake out into high jump kick is a guaranteed to act. Do I still need ex uh ex extra drill? It's kinda nice for Mew and kinda nice for Thunder Bolt Switch Crap. Yeah, I don't need it as much as I'd like to keep X uh Gore, which I'm actually going to tell how much Excel Gore does to this. And I have the life board. The life board bug buzz. Oh wait, I have some. Just 49 to 57, so I have a very small chance to kill, so I'm definitely not gonna use that. I'm gonna go like this. And I'm going to I could just ice punch it, but I don't want to risk him standing, because again. Yeah. I don't I know I don't want to risk it. Now I can just put high jump here. And he's gonna go down. Nice. And with that out of the way, it's gonna be a lot easier for us to mirror the thing up. A lot easier. Hopefully if his Wee Ball doesn't have poison jab, then that's basically just gonna be set up for my for my Azumero. And that's gonna be pretty much GT. So uh yeah, cross your fingers. Hopefully that's gonna happen. You're gonna go into this. Um, he doesn't really have a switch into Ice Punch because Keldeo will die to a return plus Ice Punch after Rocks. And of course, we all just gonna drop to a um, high jump kick if I hit anyone. So, I mean, I guess the switching would be you. I could pull the hard double into Excel Gore, but technically, Ice Punch won't kill, so we could just stay in and get up his Rocks. I don't think he'd attack. I'm just gonna pull the hard double and put Cell Boy. He goes for U turn actually, but that's fine because unless he has Scarf Gundy, he can't have Speed Move. And if he does go into Scarf Gundy, then he's gonna be taking a lot of damage, so. From the Stealth Rock, so that, that'll be cool, I guess. Maybe he'll go out into Weavile and put Ice Guard. Nope, he goes out into Thunderous, which tells me he's almost definitely choice card. Uh, I can... I think I can go out into Dragology here. I could stay in Hip Hot Ice. I'm just gonna stay in Hip Hot Ice. Hopefully, hopefully he goes out into Weavile here. I doubt he would. But, you know, Weavile would end up being set up fodder, and that would basically win the game. Unless he had Poison Jab. But, you know. Because my wink on is Azumaro. Azumaro cleans up, it just kills everything. Even when it's burned, it's gonna kill everything with a plus six aqua jet. Right. 
He goes out into Lando? Um... Hmm... Hmm, let's see... I could go out into Lopan and just kill him, because I went to Infinity, so I can't just kill him. Or I could go out into Azumarill and just try to set up. But if I do that, then Earthquake plus the recoil from Belly Drum plus a possible move from Keldeo. Maybe? Well, he'd have to go into Mew and burn me first because I'm pretty sure a plus 6 Aqua Jet from Ozzy Merrill destroys I'm actually Jog. But I'm pretty sure a plus 6 Aqua Jet from Ozzy Merrill yeah, it does a minimum of 48 to kill Dio, and his kill Dio is at 45, and that's going to be after Wrath, so he'd have to go into Mew first. Um, yeah, I'm going to go into Ozzy Merrill and see if I can just win. If not, then, oh no, that, that'll be tragic. But if so, then hooray. Maybe he'll choke, and... Defog with his new instead of Lilith. Or maybe I'll dodge with Lilith. Who knows? I mean, we all know how unreliable that move actually is. Does Aqua Jet kill? I don't think it does. Go there. New it's 252. And it's level 50 on 100. Yeah, Aqua Jet will never kill, so I basically have to go for knockout for you. And he does wit miss Lilith. That sucks. That was his only way of winning. Oh, man. Ah, oh, I've just been hacking out my opponents all day today. That, that sucks. But, I, I mean, it's not my fault. I just, I sympathize for my opponent. Because I know, I have experienced the hacks firsthand. They are. They are very tragic. But yeah, this thing's gonna go down to Aqua Jet, and then so is the rest of his team, so that's gonna be a good game to Big Zuel's L. Yeah, I'm just gonna go there. So, uh, I'm, I'm gonna get one more, and uh, yeah. Let's see who we can find. Alright, here we go against. Ooh. I'm guessing that's Mega Charizard Y, considering he has Tyranitar. And, um,. Tango, you don't really see those pairs with Mega Zard X as much. Of course, it could be a lure team, and he could be running Zard X and making me want to think it's Zard Y. But, um, let's see. Uh, I kind of think he just straight up lead with Tyranitar. He does have the Tango, which is going to make it difficult for my low Um, I could lead Rotom. I could lead Rotom. But if he leaves, hmm, hmm, this is another battle where Ozzy Merrill can clean up. All we gotta do is beat him, Latios. All right, Latia. I'm, I'm gonna lead Rotom. Oh, he does lead Charizard Y. Ooh, good play. Good, good play on my opponent's part. Um, if it's Zardex. Because Dragology technically checks this thing pretty well, but if it's Zardex, then he just sets up a Dragon Dance and I'm going to be in trouble. I'm going to be in loads of trouble. But, I'm going to make the play, because I definitely need my rhythm. Yep, yeah, so he is wide, and him near the Solar Beam. It is a crit, but again, even with the crit, it does absolutely nothing. And now his Dragon Resist is pretty much Tyranitar, so I'm just going to drop a Draco. I'm pretty sure it won't, it has a good chance to kill Tyranitar unless he's like Assault Vest. I don't know about Tangros though. Tangros, if it's Assault Vest, might also tank, but I doubt it. So I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure he just basically loses the Pokemon right here. Come on. Okay, he goes into Tyranitar. He goes into Tyranitar. Oof. So close. So close. Very close. Um, I kind of think he pursued here, trying to get rid of my Dragalzi. So I'm just going to drop another Draco. Only Stone Edge will kill me also, so not even Abandoned Crunch will kill me from here because I'm a pretty bulky set. Yep, I'm just going to drop another Draco and that, there goes Tyranitar, so not bad, not bad. 
Uh, he could probably go right back into Charizard Y to pick me off with the Fire Blast right here. But, you know, I, I'm okay with that because even if he does that, I can just go straight into low time and uh, kill it with a fake out plus a return. Okay, yes, let me go over Okay, but that, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to go into Lopin and I'm going to click. I kind of just. No, there's no point. He's going to go into Tangrowth, definitely. He is the Rocky Helmet Guardian, and um, I'm going to let. Hmm. Who should I let go to bed? Who should I let go to bed? I really hope he actually puts somebody to bed. Okay, good. Because if he eats it in right there, I was plus three, basically. I could go and text the drill here. I kind of want to double out into low funny expected. But as long as he has anger, he's going to Hmm, I need my rocks up. If I can get my rocks up, I'm golden. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go and text the drill. Good. Okay. Whew. He just goes for hidden power. It looks that might be Hidden Power Fire, but it is in the sun, and that did nothing, so... I don't know. He goes for knockoff, knocks off my leftovers, that's fine. Um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that, so... I'm gonna go into x uh, not x Excel x -Sub Because he can't kill me with anything. I hope he doesn't double knock, please don't double knock. Okay, he, he doubles out into Keldeo. And he's left over Keldeo, so that could be a problem. But then again... Oh my god. I could just... Uh, I kind of just expect them to, to stay in the main path. So, uh... He still has Latios. Latios at full, so... I think that's fine though. I'm going to spike up here. I know that seems like a weird play, but I mean, he can't kill me since he's left over. He does get a burn, and I want to be able to chip that Tangro. Um, here, I could go for Flip Splash. That'll do about 50%, I think. But it could miss. Bug Buzz will do significantly less, but it will definitely hit. I mean, if he gets up a Substitute, I'm in a bad position anyway, so I'm just going to see if I can get out as much damage as possible. He goes into Latias, which is a good play on his part. He's probably going to attempt to debug away the hazard, but unless he's left over this year, which he is not, he cannot take a fake out plus a return, so I'm going to go into uh, Lopin here right here. And now I do expect him to go uh, into Tango. I'm actually just going to Ice Punch straight off the bat. Because I just need. I just need to put this thing in range where he has to switch out and I can Belly Drum off the Thousand Barrel, so. Nice punch again. I know it might not seem like the best play because... But I don't want to risk the missing high jump kick plus ice punch from three. Switches out into Keldeo. And I do freeze to Keldeo, so that is unfortunate for him. Um, he'd probably just switch right back out into that. I'm actually going to go for a high jump kick here. Because I think... No, it, it, it definitely won't work. So he actually just sacks Keldeo. Oh no, I don't think I have another spot where I can set on my item there Hmm, that's... that's not good. But who knows, maybe I can get him to drop a Draco with, um, Latias. And then I can set up on a minus two items. Just goes into Tangra. And, um, I'm just gonna high jump it again. It will not kill, but it... Oh, it'll kill me. That's no good. That's no good. Ooh, that's actually really bad. Um, I'm gonna Iron Head here. Please stay in. Because if he switches out here... Actually, no. No, yeah, Iron Head's the play. I just need Chip on this thing. I do... Oh, he flinches. Okay, now I'm gonna Earthquake. Now I'm gonna Earthquake, definitely. Okay, he switches into Latias. And Latias does end up surviving. I'm just gonna get out my Stealth Rock again. I'm just gonna spam stuff out. Because this is pretty much the only thing I can really set up Ozzy Maryland. If I can set up Ozzy Maryland, that's fine. Please. Attack! Drop a Draco or something! 
I will stall out your detox. I have enough. Uh, so then I can start making sure. Okay. He gets a crit there. That doesn't really matter. And now... It, it all comes down to this. Please, choke. Default. Ooh, he switches into Tangra. That's fine. He is within range of knockoff. So, I, I think that means I just win. I will take Rocky Helmet, though. So then a, a Light Lord Psyshock might take me out after Rocky Helmet. He goes into Charizard. That thing's just going to die. He goes into Tangrowth, and again, I am at plus 6, so he cannot think of knockoff. So. Did I switch out and sack Ladia? He's just sacking everything. Oh man, he just wants to get regen on his, ta on his Tangrowth. Which is definitely not the play, because the plus 6 play rough should be able to take him out. I'm pretty sure this would be guaranteed to kill. Let me just talk it real quick. That is not the common one for him. Oh, um, with a bold nature. I do 99 to 117. How much does knockoff do? Because if I don't have the risk of player roughness, I will. It does 47 to 56. So yeah, I have to go for player roughness. Yep, and Tangrowth goes down, and that is going to be good game. Since the middle and this is just going to die to an Aqua Jet. Even though the sun is up, I am plus 6. And it's going to go down. So. Good game to my opponent, and uh, that's going to wrap this live up. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys when setting your drops. So, uh, yeah, later.